Good afternoon. I am so excited that Dave Setti has invited me to share my experiences in becoming an uh, artist, whatever degree I am, and give you some background and what led me to pick up painting at the age of 62 years old. So, um, how did I get involved with painting? I never painted in my life till I retired in 2009, but I always wanted to, uh, and I always, in the back of my mind, maybe I could get to it once I retired. <clears throat> and it all began, I was playing on a resident tennis team, and my partner asked me, what did I want to do now that I was retired? And I told him I always wanted to paint and talk about saying it to the right guy. He said, oh, isn't that interesting? I never started painting till I retired some years ago. I have some people I could introduce you to who I've been studying under for a while who could get you started. And so I did. I, he introduced me to this couple. The gentleman was uh, trained in Europe in Italy specifically, but also Japanese art. And I started going to classes there once or twice a week, and it lasted for four years, um, specifically in oil. And um, so th that was my introduction. And after four or five years, I, I took some day some day sessions with some assorted instructors in the area. But after that, a lot of it was trial and error. I, I sort of had my own style and what I wanted to do. And then my early uh, subject matter was places we had visited. And I was trying to recapture a memory that I could look at and basically um, generate a, a remembrance of the place we'd visited. So a lot of my early work was in and out about Italy. I am Italian by background, though it goes back to my grandparents. <laughs> So my earliest paintings were Venice and Florence and Rome. to Lake Como and that generated an interest in some additional paintings. <laughs> trips to France I always liked I always liked the impressionist paintings I took a couple of art history courses in college um, in fact I went to Stony Brook not too far from where Dave is at right now in fact Dave went to Stony Brook with me at the same time um, and uh, so I went to the Louvre so I could look at the works of Renoir Monet and and several other famous uh, impressionists and over over the years i've painted um i would say a poor imitation of some renoirs and i did two monets his red boats and also uh, his uh, bridge at uh, argel 
and question why do I paint well I find painting extremely relaxing I I can just escape and it's a form of hypnosis I've been told where time stands still for me and I can sit there for hours and feels like I'm five minutes I always try to make my works colorful so we thought it might be interesting to show you a couple of my paintings that I have hung in my home and familiarize you with how they came to pass. This one is a quiet afternoon in the English countryside. This is one of my earlier works while I was still studying under my mentors. And it fits the decor and colors of our great room, so we have it shown. scene after a shower and you call it anything you like I, I call it a stroll down the Paris Champs-Élysées This one's Romance in the Rain. Uh, we have it hanging in one of our hallways. I got into painting and women, and this is the modern woman. Look at that face on her. Uh, but very different from my landscape paintings. <laughs> from a um, picture that we had taken in Amsterdam, Holland, and it's just looking down one of the, uh, the canals in the city. It's a wonderful place. Again, this is part of my uh, fascination with interesting female figures.
early morning in Greece, trying to show the picture before they uh, go out in the fishing boats. And, uh, and then this is a Swiss lake. The serenity of a Swiss lake is, is what I call this. This, this is the current one I'm just about completed. My, my geisha girl, welcome, welcome to Japan. And uh, still have some additional things to do. And then I'm working on uh, a young lady on her bicycle on the boardwalk. And that, that's actually a Hilton Head. <laughs> the hardest painting that that I've attempted was one of his questions they're all hard or they're all easy it I've, I have uh, a challenge with uh, the impressionists because I know they painted dot 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 and uh, perhaps a general gentler touch than I traditionally have so I, I find their work extremely challenging. with precise lines, like a building that's not a, an imag imagination kind of building, but an actual building where it matters that the windows are straight. Um, in fact, I got one out right now being framed that is a Thomas Kincaid, and I got it because I did the puzzle, and I was so captured by the picture that I did the painting, and it's... Uh, Lamplight on sun or sunset on Lamplight Lane. That's the name of the picture. And it's one of my very, very favorites. Unfortunately, it's being framed as we speak. Um, so I would say that I spend uh, maybe 12 hours a week painting. And the more I've done it, the more I enjoy it. And so I don't know where I'm going to go next. I, I constantly like to change my material, the themes of my material, and challenge myself. Sometimes <laughs> it winds up in the scrap heat. Sometimes it winds up as something I really, really like. Now, in addition to the ones that I have here, I've sold upwards of about 12 over the years but I don't paint to sell them. 
I sold a couple in a art show that our community uh, sponsored. I've sold a couple online. I've been commissioned to paint, I don't know, five or six different paintings. One was Santorini. Friends had taken a cruise to the Isles of Greece and gave me a picture, told me they would like me to paint it. Uh, for the same person, I painted a home that she grew up in in Brazil. Another friend of ours asked me actually to do an abstract, which I almost never do, but I, I took the challenge and it hangs in her bedroom. And so I, I sold two online the first week. I posted two large paintings. They were 36 by 24. Both of them were from Italy. One was Ponte Vecchio in Florence, and the other one was a scene from uh, Firenze. Firenze, I think, is the island. All right, and uh, and then my kids have well, each of my four kids have several of my paintings hanging in their home. My nieces and nephews all have at least one. So over time, I don't know, maybe I've painted a hundred paintings, if not more. And I'm still cranking them out. It's like, and I'm still enjoying every minute of it. Tried to take me, they didn't even shake me Cause there ain't no way to keep a good man down They tried to hit me, they couldn't get me They tried to trick me, they got their dogs to sick me But there ain't no way to keep a good man down Everybody stumbles, everybody falls It ain't fun with your back against the wall Now nobody's perfect, everybody makes mistakes You gotta keep going when you get a tough break They tried to stab me, they couldn't grab me They tried to choke me, they couldn't even poke me Cause there ain't no way to keep a good man down We all hit the bottom, even those up on the top. When you're down in the gutter, you better not stop now. Nobody's perfect, we all make mistakes. You gotta keep going no matter what it takes. They tried to hit me, they couldn't get me. They tried to trick me, they got their dogs to sick me. But there ain't no way to keep a good man down. Everybody knows me, you can't fool them all You better get a run and when the truth does call They try to break me, they couldn't make me They tried to take me, they didn't even shake me Cause there ain't no way to keep a good man Ain't no way to keep a good man Ain't no way to keep a good man
West Hampton to Sayville, Port Jefferson, Bayville, Amagansett Center, Port and Hampton Bays. From Bridgehampton to Belmore, Bayport, Blue Point and Bayshore, Mattatuck to Center Island and Freeport. Shelter Island, Shinnecock, Fort Salonga and Kings Park, Belter, Poquot, Old Sag Harbor and Northport. Going on and pull when you're feeling down. Pay a visit to the ocean or the sound. Come and take a walk with me from the dunes down to the sea. You'll feel better when you feel the fresh salt air. And we'll find a lonely beach where a telephone can reach. Watch the sunset and forget about our cares. From Oyster Bay to Babylon, Orient Port Washington, Nissaquat to Wading River and Lloyd Neck, Asher Oak and Rocky Point, Massapequa and Kings Point.